Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some super quick and easy Dollar Tree DIYs for 4th of July. 4th of July is going to be here so soon, so I wanted to share just some really simple ideas to get you in the spirit. But before we get started, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing down below. This first DIY might be one of my favorite Dollar Tree DIYs ever. It is so simple, but the end result is really beautiful. So I'm starting off with two packs of these Dollar Tree bandanas. They actually had even more designs than I have here. Each pack comes with two different designs, and I would say there was at least four different packs of Dollar Tree. These are just the two that I had picked up, but I'm gonna go ahead, open them up so I can show them to you guys. The first one here is a really traditional American flag, absolutely beautiful. The colors are really vibrant. And then the second one in that same pack is this one here. So same colors, just kind of a different arrangement. But something else I really love about these is the size. These are 20 inch by 20 inch, so they have a really good size to them. Now my second pack here is a little bit different. The first one is this little American flag heart, really cute. It has a repeating pattern. And the second one has the white background with the red and blue stars. So I'm actually going to be creating some pillows from these bandanas but i'm gonna go ahead and just swap them a little bit so i thought that the american flag would look great with this print here on the back so we're going to be making two sided pillows so we're going to have a bunch of different patterns but it's just something really fun and unique so like i said i thought these two would go nicely together so i am going to sew my pillows you could definitely use hot glue for this if you want to do a no sew pillow but I figured it might be nice just to go ahead and get my sewing machine out and just make sure I have a nice stitch running along all the sides. And I will be sewing it inside out and then just turning it right side out when it's time to stuff it. So I did make sure that the finished sides were facing each other. And now for my second pairing, I'm gonna have this print here with the red, white, and blue. And then on the back of this one, I'm going to have the stars. I thought it would be fun to do these two prints together since they both had stars. And I just thought that they would complement each other. And again, I'm just making sure that the finished sides are both facing in. That way we will sew it inside out and then turn it right side out when it's time to fill it with polyfill are going to sew it like this you just want to make sure to leave a gap on the bottom about three to four inches wide that way it's really easy to turn your pillow right side out and fill it with polyfill another option is to just turn these into pillow cases that's originally what i was going to do until i opted to do the polyfill method either one will work for this if you want to do a pillow case you could just install a zipper on the bottom, or if you even wanna just sew in some Velcro, that's another really easy way to make a pillow cover. So all I did was just make sure both of my pillowcases were right side out, and then I did iron them just to get a nice clean look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just stuff them with polyfill. When it was nice and full, I just kind of tried to flatten it out a little bit, make sure all of my corners were full, and now on the bottom here, I'm going to go ahead and just fold my fabric in so I can have a finished edge and then I'm going to sew it closed. Repeat that same process for my second pillow here. And here's a closer look at how these turned out. Like I told you guys before, this is definitely one of my new favorites. It is such a simple DIY, but these look gorgeous. No one would have any idea that these are from Dollar Tree. And it really is perfect to have them sized 20 by 20 all ready for you. It could not get easier, and for the price, you definitely can't beat it. If you're planning a party or barbecue this July 4th, you have to give this DIY a try. It is the best way to display a dessert. So I found these two plates at Dollar Tree, and I knew the colors were perfect for the 4th of July. I love that blue and red, but we are, of course, missing white. So that is where these candle holders come in. So I picked up two of these glass candle holders, and of course, we need to paint them. And I chose a flat white paint for this. You can definitely use gloss, but I thought the flat white would be a nice contrast to the glossy plate. And here are my candle holders when they were nice and dry. So next we're gonna need a strong glue. 
So anything will do. My personal favorite is E6000, but you definitely want to use something that is permanent. So I would not recommend hot glue for this. You really want to use something stronger. So I'm just adding my E6000 to my candle holder, and then I'm going to go ahead and flip over my plate. You will see that these do have a little print on the back, which kind of makes it easy to center it. Sometimes the print is a little bit off center, but it's a good place to start. And what's great about E6000 is it doesn't set immediately. So you kind of have a little bit of wiggle room so you can turn your plate around. I saw here it was a little bit off center. So you have some time to maneuver it before it fully sets. So once I was happy with the placement, I just put this aside and I'm gonna let this dry overnight to fully cure. So this is just my second one here and I'm just repeating that same process. I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the bottom of my blue plate. I'm creating two cake stands, but another option is to just skip the second candle holder and glue the red plate and blue plate together with one candle holder in between to make a beautiful red, white, and blue tiered tray. And here is how my cake stands turned out. How festive are these? They're really beautiful. I love that deep blue color. I think it looks so elegant and I will definitely be using these at my barbecue this July 4th. Next up is a super easy backyard activity that is perfect for the whole family. So I saw these three buckets at Dollar Tree and they gave me a really fun idea. So of course I got one red, blue, and white. I also picked up these number stickers from Dollar Tree. These are the Crayola brand ones. I found these kind of by the school supplies where they have all the pencils and pens. They had a bunch of these. So I'm going to be adding these numbers to my buckets. And I went really simple. You can make the points as high as you like, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start my first bucket off at five points. My second one is going to be 10 points. And then my third bucket is going to be 20 points. So this game is just a simple beanbag toss game. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it outside, but I just had a wiffle ball on hand. I do have to pick up some bean bags before my 4th of July party but it's just really simple. You put them in a row, you try to get as many points as you can to beat the next person. And I think it would be great to get maybe three or four bean bags and add up your total at the end. It's just something so easy. Kids can do this, adults can do this. It's simple, it's fun, and best of all, really quick to put together last minute. That's everything for today. I actually am working on a 4th of July compilation video right now though that will be out soon. So if you need any more decor ideas or party ideas, definitely stay tuned for that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.